so to really grasp like hyperrealism in Roblox, you'll probably be looking at using 3D modeling software such as Blender or Maya to really utilize Roblox features which have been implemented into the studio. So here we're on Blender and we've got this little square in front of us. So if we've got front view, nice little equilateral square or whatever it's called, I didn't take maths. Um, so we can make this square into whatever shape we want. So let's just make it into a nice little wall. Okay, so we got a nice little wall here. Now, we want to add a texture on this and utilize surface appearance on Roblox. So how we do that is firstly, we press F3 on our keyboard and we type in smart UV project. Click that and we type island margin. So this, what it's gonna do is basically map out the faces of the um, wall onto a 2D flat surface. So if we go front face, this face is gonna be mapped out. So, and then we go right face. <laughs> this is gonna be mapped out. Um, and then you got obviously left face and then back face and then you got the other two faces, top and bottom. Um, so after that, you can see that in real time if you go on UV editing. So if we press front face, there you go, you've got front face here. If we press this face, it's face there. So if we select all of them, you can see that there's all the faces of the wall. Okay, so to apply texture to that, what we want to do is go over to shading. And if your um if your blender doesn't look like this, then you can press on the material preview button up here. And I'm using Blender 2.8, I think I'll probably mention that at the start of the video. But um, so here we go. We can press new. And that adds a new material onto the um, wall. And then here we will probably, I'll probably put some assets down below, but we got a nice albedo and nice normal cobble texture. So albedo is just the color basically. And then the normal is what gives the, um, the wall the feeling of it being realistic and stuff like that. It's uh, So what we're gonna do is move the albedo cobble down there. And then we are gonna collect connect the color to the base color. And you see that the texture's been on there. And then we go below, get the normal cobble, drag it below. We set this to non-color and then we press add. I think it's A on keyboard for a shortcut as well. Um, and type in normal map. Click this there. And then we can move the color to the color, connect those up, and then normal to the normal. And now you'll see that it is now reflecting light, refracting light. And you can make this even more um, pop if you want, wish to by moving up the strength, but that obviously makes it pixelated. So now we've got a nice little couple wall. Let's just stick with normal strength. Okay, so now we can go back to UV editing, turn back on material preview. So you can see here that um, some of our faces are the wrong way around and our front and back face are also the wrong way around. So what we can do is first off, click up here and go on albedo cobble so we can see what we're working with. So what we can do is if we want our front and the back to have the same like material and face, we can move, select all these corners and move it over here you can enable snap or vertex even. And now they have the same face. You can do this with the other ones. So let's move maybe this one over. Let's snap it to the vertex, there we go. And let's move this one over and snap it. So they've all got sharing the same face now as each other. So the op opposite sides. So now we can select those sides turn it around using rotate and then move back onto increment, put it in the middle and then we can use Y and make it bigger or smaller and then use scale. So now we've got a nice cobble texture on this side but now we just need to turn around these two faces. So now that's equal 
mostly. So now we've got a nice cobbled wall. So now Roblox... Now to put this into Roblox we would have to export this. And I usually recommend exporting it as an OBJ. Just nicer on Roblox. Um, so how to do that is obviously press up file, export, away from OBJ, and then just go to whatever file you've got and just put in, I don't know, press selection only if you want to only select and export this model. And then just type in, I don't know, copper wall. And then we will head to our Roblox. And then what we will do is press this button up here, bulk import. You can press, you can right click, meshes and press anything else, whatever. It would do the exact same thing and type in, try and find our copper wall. And we found a copper wall. Input file is single mesh. Yes, because it is a single mesh itself. And rescale if too large, you can untick that or take that if you want and press apply. Okay, so now we go back onto asset manager, right click it, insert with location. So now that's our wall, but you'll notice that it's got no of that normal popping texture, it makes it look real super realistic. So now we've got to click on our copper wall. You see it does still have that texture that we did apply on Blender, but it's obviously not popping. So Roblox surface appearance will make it pop like that. So if we go surface appearance, you see it's gone blank. Click on surface appearance. And if you look on properties, you see alpha mode overlay and transparency. That's mainly, so if you want to make trees or something like that, you'd use a transparent image on top of like a um, double-sided leaf to make it look make it pop make it look realistic so we keep on overlay and so color map we'll choose our cobble that we did earlier okay so there's our cobble i'll just name it i'll be the cobble press create and it was going to make it as a texture well a decal okay and you see and it's applied now it's no longer gray and then you can also press normal map and we will add our normal cobble into it And now, you should see it is somewhat popping more. you got to get the right angle, the latitude and everything onto it, the time of day. But it is popping a lot more and it's looking way more realistic. So if we put side by side and remove the normal, you'll see a huge difference between both of them. You've got one which is popping, looks more realistic, like we're in the actual game, and then you have one which is very flat looking, it's not very um, elusive. So even if we go in game, you will see that, if I move this UI away, this one, yes, flat, very, very flat. And then this one, you see is reflecting the light. So that's how to use surface appearance, basically on um, any of your meshes. But you could, there's also material service, which is recently, I think it's been in beta for a couple of weeks, a couple of months even. Um, and what you can do with this, so let's just remove surface appearance from one of these walls and remove the texture ID. So we've got this wall. Say we want everything which is the concrete material in our game to be that cobble texture. Or maybe the cobblestone texture, that'll probably be more fitting. So here we go, we've got our cobble wall. Let's get our cobblestone texture onto it. Very nice. We can also do this with normal Roblox parts or any unions and stuff like that. We may add. So let's just maybe get like a nice cylinder or something. Might not work as well because it is in beta, but let's just show this off anyway. Okay, now what we want to do Let's go to material service, type in or find material variant. And so now here you can see appearance, base material. We won't want that base material to be cobble because we're replacing cobble. So let's find cobble. And now we basically follow the same steps that we did in surface appearance. Add the albedo cobble and then you see nothing's come up yet. And then add the normal map which is the normal cobble. Okay. So now we go back on the material service and then we click on cobblestone. 
well, we can even rename them, the variant as new cobble or something like that. And then we go back on material service and then put in new cobble. You can see it's been added to these assets. But maybe you want the um, cobble to be a bit larger or something like that. So you can go back on new cobble and then you can change the studs per tile to like five. So smaller cobble or 15, bigger cobble. So that's how to use utilize material service. And so as like a more proactive use case, let's just get this bell tower that I've made before. So you have this nice little bell tower and it's really flat right now. There's not much detail on it. So if we use the tower itself, we can add the surface appearance onto it. Add what I said before, the albedo cobble. And then the normal cobble. So now you can see it's refracting the light. And it's a lot more popping compared to its counterpart, which is by the side of it. And then obviously, of course, you can do the exact same thing as I said before with the um, cobble itself. It might appear a darker colour. I think that's more to do with it being in beta still. So yeah, that's the two use cases which make your buildings pop a bit more, make it more elusive, make the aura around the game more realistic. So yeah.